Welcome to order. Prayer by the chaplain. Yesterday, some Minnesotans celebrated Sutton de Mai, the Norwegian Day of Independence. The, f- the first line of the Norwegian um, national anthem goes like this. Ja, vi elsker dette landet. Yes, we love this nation, or we love this land. Let us pray. God of history, God of grace, today we give you thanks and also ask for your blessing. We give thanks for bipartisan donuts. We give thanks for this land, this state of Minnesota, for the fields and forests, for lakes and streams, for the prairies, and most of all, for the people. This morning I give special thanks for these men and women of the Minnesota House and the House staff. Now we ask for your blessing on them. They are weary but still working hard under difficult pressure, divided over methods and even goals, yet determined to serve the best interests of the whole state. For the next three days, give them energy, vision, and wisdom. Bless them in their efforts that they might become a blessing for us all. Let their work become a chorus, singing together, Ja, vi elsker dette landet. Yes, we love this land. We love this state and this people. Amen. The chaplain for today is Reverend Paul Rogers, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Pledge of Allegiance, please remain standing and recite the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Clerk will take the roll.
The clerk will close the roll. A quorum is present. The clerk will read the journal of the preceding day. Journal of the House, 59th day, St. Paul, Minnesota, Friday, May 17, 2013. There's no objection. Further reading in the journal will be dispensed with, and the journal will be approved as uh, corrected by the chief clerk. Hearing no objection, the journal is approved as corrected by the chief clerk. Comparison reports. There's a copy of this order of business on each member's desk. If, those, if there's no objection, those motions will prevail. Hearing no objections, the motions prevail and the substitutions will be made. Reports of standing committees and divisions. A copy of this order of business has been placed on each member's desk. If there is no objection, those reports will be adopted. Hearing no objection, those reports are adopted. Second reading of House Files. Second reading, House File 983. Second reading. Second reading of Senate Files. Second reading, Senate File 894. Second reading. Second reading, Senate File 1340. Second reading. Introduction and first reading of House Files. The following House Files have been offered for introduction today. The Chief Clerk will report the House Files and give them their first reading. Introduction and first reading of House Files 1851 through 1855. First reading, House Files 1851 to 1855. Representative Murphy. <clears throat> thank you, Mr. Speaker and members. Uh, first of all, I want to say thank you to Representative Mahoney. Tim Mahoney was the deliverer of the donuts this morning, and they came from a bakery called A Baker's Wife, which is in Minneapolis. So I, I hope that you will thank Representative Mahoney uh, for the donuts and a sweet start for the day. Um, I'm going to briefly, uh, in a moment, call us uh, into a recess at the call of the chair. Uh, at some point during the recess, the Rules Committee is going to meet, so please watch your email for the time. Uh, and members of the DFL, we will caucus in room 217, and I would anticipate that that caucus will last between 60 and 90 minutes. And when we come back, we will take up the pensions bill. And with that, Mr. Mr. Speaker, I call a recess to the call of the chair. Representative Doubt. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. GOP members will caucus in our caucus room immediately following recess. Representative Murphy moves a recess to the call of the chair. All in favor say aye. aye. All opposed, no. Motion prevails. The House stands in recess to the call of the chair.